The online experience in Red River is core to our DNA and we've improved it by focusing on four player co-op. This means you and your mates can join in at any point in the campaign. We have a really nice kind of lobby widget which allows you to very quickly build a fire team from your friends. Uh, if you're playing the campaign and one of your friends suddenly comes online, he can jump in straight away and join you. We've really tried to cover as much as possible just to let players do whatever they want to do. It means that the game experience is just so much more streamlined now when you're playing online. Red River will have joining progress implemented. It's a big thing for us. You know, we can't go out into the marketplace nowadays without having something where you can join in at any time with your buddies and play the game and basically kick some ass. So while the host is customising the game, the guys can be joining it. He can kick the game off, the guys can join in halfway through. So the whole game is built around this co-op experience and, and just making the game experience as slick and smooth as possible. The entire campaign is playable in both co-op and single player. You can have variations, you can play it with one or two of your friends with AI filling in the other slots. This means that you can play the whole experience in a completely different way if you pull your friends in. We hope that you're going to be doing that all the way through because that's definitely the best way to play this game. We've also got four distinct co-op game modes. We have Last Stand, which is essentially a defensive game mode where you have to hold a position against uh, increasing waves of enemies. We have a Convoy Escort mode, which is moving with a convoy, clearing the route ahead, etc. In addition to that, we also have a Combat Search and Rescue. Uh, the idea behind this is that you have to find pilots that have gone down behind enemy lines. And finally, we have a Combat Sweep mode, which is all about moving through compounds and villages, clearing out insurgents and finding ammo caches. What we wanted to emphasise with the FTE modes though is score this time, so there is a high score that you've got to try and improve on. There's an optimal strategy that you can try to apply, but there's always going to be ways to tune that and improve it and add to your score. You're going to be scoring points not just for completing objectives, but for how you kill the enemies, how you keep your fire team alive. All of these different ways of combining together to make a high score are going to allow players to keep playing the game for months and months and months. We haven't just reused the campaign area for our fire team engagements. What we've done is create a bespoke area in the southeast of our map. It's based on a real location in Tajikistan where we've pulled loads of reference material from. But each of these map locations is built around the type of gameplay you're going to have in each of those game modes. We've essentially re-engineered and re-architected all of our tech and gameplay around co-op. So that gives you an idea of how seriously we take it. We're really excited about Red River. We're really excited about the fact there's going to be other gamers coming from other games next year to play this. They've kind of bored of the corridor shooter. They want a more tactical experience. And Red River gives you this. It gives you the co-op experience. It gives you the experience with the eyes of the Marine, the opportunity to upgrade your character and his loadout. Massive potential for replay. And I think it's really going to hit home with those guys that are bored of other games out there that don't quite hit the mark. For me, it's very much the thinking man shooter. It's all about the decisions you make. We don't lead you by the hand through the levels. It's up to the player to decide how they're going to get the best out of that level. It's all about co-op, it's all about team play, it's all about communication and giving the players the tools and the options that they need to have an awful lot of fun.